Dozer <laughs> was looking around at the plants, thinking, huh, need to get that one back out in the sun a little bit, get some more sunshine on it. The, uh, joy I have in being a writer is that lots of times God will inspire the right words to say that causes someone to think and then do what it is that he wants them to do in their life and when that happens when reading goes to hearing and hearing goes to thought and then thought goes to action that's the complete cycle that God wants for each and every one of us to not just be a hearer of the word only but a doer and that's what he meant by that is that it's good that you can hear you know God talk to you in a Sunday morning or a daily devotional or reading the word or studying but there's more to Christianity like I used to say to, than sucking your thumb it's not enough to just sit back and say huh that's interesting. It's not enough to just go, ooh, that was really, really good sermon, you know. But what's more important is, did you do what it said to do? In one of the devotionals that sharing Jesus said, he made it very clear about the fact that what he said to do, you got to do. But one thing that I always do with my wife is that when she goes to church, you know, that... I always ask her afterwards, is that, well, what did you get out of it? You know, hopefully understanding that it's not just what she remembers and retains, but what will she do with it? And praise the Lord, you know, I have seen that happen in her life, that she has taken things that she's heard and applied them to her life and grown from it. Because, see, God doesn't just say something for his own benefit. It's not a religious exercise on his part. He says it for yours. So, if you do what he says, you make your world and your life easier. But if you don't, believe me, it's going to get tougher. And it will get rougher. In Tozer, we settle for words, deeds are too costly. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. The practice of substituting words for deeds is not something new, for the Apostle John saw it in his day and warned against it. James also had something to say about the vice of words without deeds. If your brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warm and filled, notwithstanding you give them not those things which are needful to the body, what does it profit? We settle for words in religion because deeds are too costly. It is easier to pray, Lord, help me to carry my cross daily, than to pick up the cross and carry it. Um, but since the mere request for help to do something we do not actually intend to do has a certain degree of religious comfort, we are content with repetition of the words. What then? Shall we take a vow of silence? Shall we cease to pray and sing and write and witness until we catch up on our deeds? I say no, that would not help. While we have breath, we must speak to men about God and to God about men. To escape this snare of words without deeds, let us say nothing we do not mean. Break the habit of conventional religious chatter. Speak only as we are ready to take the consequences. Believe God's promises and obey God's commandments. Practice the truth so that we may, with propriety, speak the truth. Deeds give body to words. As we do acts of power, our words will take on authority and have no sense of reality will fill our hearts. In other words, people talk a good story. People can walk a good walk when it's words. But the person who God delights in isn't the person that needs to be told what to do, but is already doing those things that is automatic because they see someone in need and they meet that need. And they don't have to pray about it. They don't have to talk about it. They don't have to tell someone else about it. They just do it. My favorite expression in devotionals is just do it. So, if someone is in need, 
Just do it. Sometimes it's not about talking through it as much as it is just do it. It's that easy. Because all of our words were going to be held accountable. I just hope we didn't say we were going to do something and tell someone else to do what we ourselves were not willing to do and haven't done. Pretty heavy. Pretty real. Pretty godly. Let's not just talk about it, but let's do it. <laughs>